Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. My name is Sean. Today we are going to look at how to have uh, some special code generated in your web pages uh, by using PSD to CSS Online that will make uh, the pages display on your iPhone correctly. Um, they'll it will uh, detect the browser and uh, if it finds it, it'll run some special instructions that will uh, force the, the scale of your uh, application, of your web page to, to be correct and uh, to get rid of the uh, menu or the uh, uh, address bar at the top, uh, at least scroll it out of, uh, out of the way. Uh, the same way that uh, the, mobile version, the mobile version of uh, Facebook or Google or Yahoo or any of, the, any of those uh, websites work. Um, I can show you quickly what we're trying to solve. So uh, you probably probably recognize this as uh, a, my, one of my web pages, and that's that's the way that it displays normally uh, by the uh, Safari web browser. You can see the letters are tiny, the page is big. Um, you of course can zoom in and read some of the text, but but then uh, you, if you've designed your page the right way uh, or or a regular way, uh, it's very very difficult to read. It's very uh, it, it's much larger. The page is much larger than the phone, um, and of course, it shows the, uh, the the address bar and and it's it just it's a web page. And the, the, using these tools, you can uh, uh, make something that looks much more like a, a web a uh, iPhone application. So let me show you how you do that. So first, uh, as always with PSC to CSS online, we start with a Photoshop file. Uh, here's an example of a Photoshop design that I've made that looks kind of like a web, uh, uh, an iPhone application. Um, we've got our layer names over here. Uh, in this particular uh, example, we've got a couple of pages. There's another page, page two. Here's the index page. You can see all the stuff on those pages. Inside this first page, we have a couple of links and uh, and a menu that will come open. Um, as always, for PSD to CSS Online, all you have to do is name the layers right. Um, to get some of the special uh, code to be written. In this particular case for iPhone, the new feature that we're talking about is right here, this underscore iPhone. If you just put that in any one of your layers in the whole Photoshop file, you don't have to put it on every layer, just one of them, um, the code generator, PSD to CSS Online, will, will know to make all the special iPhone code if, uh, if that's in there. So here's how we do it. You just you draw that, name your layers right, save your Photoshop file, then you go to visit uh, PSD to CSS Online. You upload the file. And right now, PSD to CSS Online is, is uh, convert, taking apart the Photoshop file and converting it to all the appropriate HTML and JavaScript and, and some iPhone-specific JavaScript to make sure uh, things happen when you tip the phone, for example, and stuff like that. Now, it makes a real HTML page, and you can view it, um, but it doesn't look like it doesn't look like anything really interesting. Of course, all the features work. For your iPhone, all of the PSD to CSS Online features work. All the menus, all the multi-page websites. You can even uh, make a, a Drupal or WordPress or Joomla uh, website uh, designed for your iPhone. So uh, so you definitely can use this to make uh, iPhone applications, but they're web-based. Um, here's we'll, we'll see how it goes, what it looks like to go to the other page. There we go. So uh, what we need to do is download the zip file. Here we go, we download that zip file. And it made this folder here, PSD to CSS. Um, what we need to do is put these files on our web server somewhere so that my iPhone can find them. And what we'll do is, I've got a script here written that uh, copies those files over to my service provider. Save a little time there. Okay, so now what we'll do, I guess I gotta turn this back on. So, what I'll do is uh, visit that URL. Let's see. Here we go. So there you can see that's that's exactly the application. That's the, the page that we just designed. And you can see, hopefully you can see that the, the address bar is not there. You can see that when I turn it, it uh, reorients and centers correctly and gets rid of the address bar for me just like uh, Google and Yahoo and Facebook. Um, you can see that all of the uh, things work. There's a, there's my simple menu example. Uh, the multi-pages works. Oops. So that's going to bring up the other page, sure enough. 
And now let's see if I can do the back button from here. There you go. So see, pretty straightforward. Uh, the text and the images are not small. They're full size on the screen, as you would expect. Um, if you draw some uh, art in there that looks like a, an iPhone application, you basically have a web-based iPhone application. So uh, there you go. That's uh, the new iPhone feature on the PSD to CSS Online. Um, check it out. If you have any questions, please visit the forum. Uh, thank you very much.